Thanks, Steve. Well, you always hear it's important to protect your skin with sunscreen. But do you ever think about what your skin screen, what sunscreen you should you should be using? Kim Whitaker, who's an esthetician at Center PC, is here with us this morning. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. I think um, you know we talk about SPF all the time and mm -hmm. just the general benefits of wearing sunscreen. But when you sent me this over and said chemical versus physical, what's the difference? Is it Never heard of half the stuff. Well, <laughs> so exactly. what, what are the differences? There are huge differences. Um, most people will say, oh, well, I've got sunscreen in my makeup or in my moisturizer. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not particularly adequate, especially in the spring and summer months. Um, Chemical sunscreens are probably in about 98% of what we find over the counter. Okay. Um, they contain ingredients like avabenzone, um, octanoxate, oxybenzone, things like that. And you'll find a laundry list of them on the back of a sunscreen mm -hmm. bottle. And um, they're not going to fully protect you from the sun. What happens is chemical sunscreens are absorbed into the skin. Then the rays are actually absorbed into the skin as well. Those sunscreens then kind of render the you raise nil in mm -hmm. the skin, but you're still getting absorption. So you're still getting some exposure. Okay. Plus, uh, we find that chemical sunscreens are often irritating. They cause breakouts, redness, irritation, itching, um, and a lot of people can't use them. Okay. So, so the big thing is, and I think we actually have a list of some of the ones in mm -hmm. the um, chemical sunscreens that we can pop up for you, but what, are you, what do you want to watch for or pay attention to? Well, you probably don't want to use these, especially on young children and babies. Okay. Um, not only do they cause reactions on the skin quite often, but they're also polluting our waters. Mm -hmm. And um, the Environmental Working Group actually analyzed 500 sunscreens and recommended only 39 of them out of the 500. Holy cow. And those were physical sunscreens only. Wow. Okay, okay. so we showed you that list of the chemical ones. Mm -hmm. We also have a list of the physical in, uh, sunscreen ingredients as well. Which are just, actually, these are chemical um, sunscreens as well. Oh, okay. The only two physical sunblocks on the market are zinc oxide and mm -hmm. titanium dioxide. Those are the only two ingredients you should look for in a sunblock. Okay. Okay, because they are going to physically block the sun's rays. When you apply a physical sunblock, the rays are going to kind of deflect off of the skin. Okay. And, you know, that's what we kind of uh, recognize is that old, like, the lifeguard white nose. Yes. That's zinc <laughs> oxide. Um, and, you know, they're not white anymore. They're micronized. Right. So that they're, they kind of have a little bit of whiteness to the skin, but nothing like um, the old Do application sunblocks. rules still apply with the physical ones? Um, they do, but they are going to give you much better protection. Okay. You, you only need, really, a 30 sunblock with a physical sunblock. No matter um, your complexion. No, 30 is adequate, and you just want to reapply every few hours. Okay, well, thank you very much for coming in and giving us all those tips. We really appreciate well, it. Well, thank you.